over a hundred years ago, honey was either eaten straight from the combs or they were crushed, usually by hand, and left to drip to extract the honey, which was then put in jars. Beekeepers would cut chunks of honeycombs out of straw skeps. People dug their spoons into the combs and ate them, both the wax and the honey. Back then, they didn't know of a way to remove honey from the combs without destroying the honeycombs. But the honeycombs had a secret that it would soon be revealed by a child. Imagine yourself as a child in 1869. Your father is a major in the Italian army and he gives you a basket with the string on the handle. Inside the basket is some honeycombs and the caps cut off and you've been asked to carry the basket. Would you hold the basket carefully or would you do what I do? I'd swing that basket round by the string. That's what the major's son did. He swung that basket around and around. Something happened, something important. The honey was thrown out of the honeycombs by the centrifugal force of the swinging. The major noticed the messy honey all over the inside of the basket and he noticed the empty undamaged honeycombs. He saw that it was possible to throw honey out of the combs without crushing them. No one had realized that before. He then set to work to make a machine that would throw the honey from the honeycombs by spinning them just like the basket on the string. That's where the first honey extractor came from. We still use the extractors to this day. Some have hand cranks and some are electric. They all spin the frames of honeycombs. Once the combs are empty, they are given back to the bees because they're all sticky and the bees will either refill them if it's earlier in the season or if it's in the fall, the end of the season, the bees will lick those honeycombs clean and dry so that we can then store those honeycomb frames until next spring. It's less work for the bees because they don't have to remake the honeycombs all over again. Remember my postings from before on how much honey or nectar bees have to eat to make even just one pound of honeycombs. After his discovery and invention, Major Harushchaka, I'm sorry I didn't pronounce that well, decided he'd like to become a beekeeper. And he did just that.